So in this video what I want to do is I'm going to use the in and the between options with the select command to actually pull out information and query some more information out of our tables. And so if you take a look here, what I've got is I'm going to take a look at this publication date. I might say that I want everything to be, let's see, I want the dates from 1996, 1998, and 2001. So 96, 98, and 2001. Those are the three that I want. Now, what I would have to do is I'd actually have to write it like this. Where publication, let's say pub date, is going to equal 1996. And then I would have to say or pub date is going to equal 1998. Or pub date is going to have to equal 2001. Now there's an easier way to do this and so what I'm going to do is this is a long way and this is only three records. Imagine if you've got more um, options that you want, more criteria that you want to pull out. So there's an easy way to do this and so I'm going to go ahead and take out all of that. I'm just going to say where and then we're going to use pub date but what I want to use is the keyword before pub date and so or after pub date. I mean where pub date and I'm going to use the word in, uh, the keyword in here and then what I'll do is use parentheses and within the parentheses these are all the criteria that I want so this is using the same column over and over again but now I get to choose like 1996, 1998, comma, and 2001 and this will do the exact same results as what I had in there before this is going to give me the results and let's go ahead and run it and you'll see that it gives me 96, 98, and 2001 so this is using the in and this is rather than having to use the or this or that or that for the exact same column I get to choose multiple options for a specific column using the in command so that's using the in command now there's another one that I like to use and I want to show you and that's the between keyword that we can use with this select command so let's go ahead and do that now what I'm going to do is I'll take this out and run the select all from books so we can see all of the data that we've got here to work with and now let's talk about the between so let's just say I want the price to be between $4.99 and $15. And I picked those numbers in um, particular because I want to show you that um, what happens when we run $4.99 because that's a question that may come up. So I've got the command here, select all from books, and we're going to use where. And let's go ahead and say price, price, and then we're going to use this between. And so we're going to go ahead and say price is between. $4.99 and $15. Let's see, I forgot to put the N there. Now you should be able to tell me by looking at this statement that just by looking at it that the $14.99 is going to show up because it's it's between $4.99 and $15. But now you may ask yourself is $4.99 going to show up because it says it's between them. And so I'll run this and I'll show you the results here. Go ahead and hit run and sure enough $4.99 does show up and that's because it's called inclusive meaning our between command basically what they're saying there is the between the items that we have in between if the results are equal to that one it's not necessarily in, be in between them it's actually including our range so $4.99 will show up you can see $4.99 there and of course anything lower than $15 will show up but if we had anything that was $15 even that would have showed up as well. So this is using between. So this is using the select command with the in and the between options for our criteria.